I had full intent that I was going to record this video in a very frustrated mood, but thankfully, <laughs> somehow the Bucks pulled out the victory last night, whether it was because the Bucks came back or because the Celtics blew it, whatever the case may be, the Bucks found a way to win and being just a diehard sports fan and a huge fan of the Milwaukee Bucks, it was very, very painful and difficult to watch for four quarters, uh, but I am very very happy. I'm in a great mood. I'm ready to get to things. What is going on, fan clan? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Phantom. Happy Thursday. I hope you guys are doing fabulous. Come back tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be a big day. Tomorrow we are going to announce the winner of our Evolving Skies Booster Box giveaway because we are giving away a box every every week until a reprint finally comes. And there's no reprint, so we're going to give away another box tomorrow. Uh, and also tomorrow is our brand new Astral Radiance Booster Box opening. It is a busted box. It is a Holy Buckets box. You're not going to want to miss it. It is so good that it's going to go live on this channel at 8 a.m. Central Time. So make sure to come back, set notifications on, hit that subscribe button down below. You have to be subscribed to win all the polls anyway, so you might as well just hit it right now. Uh, but today we are going to talk about promos. We're going to continue our journey, our trip down promos in Pokemon, kind of going over the market. A couple days ago, we looked at McDonald's promos, and a lot of those have really climbed in price according to the market over the past six months to a year. Today, we're going to focus on Toys R Us promos, and there are 16 of them that we're going to look at. So here is an Electabuzz, first of all. So this is uh, a sealed Electabuzz. It's got the Toys R Us insignia on it. These were handed out at Toys R Us's uh, a few years ago when Toys R Us still existed in the States. Many people were able to go in and pick up a promo card. They were free. A lot of people even before the big boom were hoarding these taking these like uh people would go and they had a pokemon event and really not a whole lot of people would show up for it so uh one person would just take a hundred of them or 200 of them i remember going to a flea market and we recorded this flea market so if you go back before this was a danny phantom channel and it was a dead draw gaming channel you go back there was a flea market that we went to uh and somebody had like uh 200 of the piplup ones that they wanted like six seven dollars a piece for at the time it was absolutely nuts uh but we're gonna look at it completely different ball game completely different ball game from what we looked at when it came to the mcdonald's promos it's very very interesting we're going to take a look at these a lot of these have really dropped down in price now a whole, not a whole lot of sales data when it comes to tcg player we pull all this pricing off tcg player and starting off with that that ponytail up in the in the corner there you can see it's hollow foil market price 75 dollars it's because there's not a whole lot of sales on it over the past year we looked at it the last year of data on tcg player not a whole lot uh so you can see here the hollow foil mar market price is just basically it off of like one sale over the past year which is $75 these are all over eBay right now for $35 to $50 so an actual value where you can kind of understand where the market is for these pony to promos uh, which is close to the most expensive one still uh, about 35 to 50 dollars you can find them still sealed on ebay uh, the next one we're going to look at right here is the tangela not a whole lot of sales on this one either uh, but it is going down consistently so you can see over the past year uh, 64.95 was its high point right now the last one sold at 61.21 so it's got a market price of around 61.21 it's a low point of 59.97 kind of hit at the beginning of the year those are kind of two outliers but if we look at the charmander here and this charmander really started gaining a lot of steam during that giant hype phase of Pokemon over the past couple years where people were really hyping up Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, things like that, where everybody wanted anything Fire Lizard. That was like the big deal. Uh, Charmander went through the roof. Uh, the high point for this one over the past year is 6706, which is what it hit in June of last year, June of 2021, when TCG Player really started tracking market data. So before that, it was even higher than that 6706. Now, if you look, it has really just been destroyed. It is down almost 50%. 6581 is its one year low, which it just recently hit in April. It's jumped up a little bit, but uh, we're talking pennies. It's up to 60, 3639 right now so not a huge increase right there uh, for the most part it's just continuously gone down and that's going to be the case for a lot of these Toys R Us promos compared to the McDonald's promos which were continuously uh, rising these ones have just really fallen uh, not a whole lot of data on this slow poke which is the next one that we're going to look at here $24.95 is the current market price on TCG player that is also wrong so if we look uh, TCG player not not no listings right now so you can't go on TCG player really and buy it uh, in near mint condition but on eBay you can find the slow poke one for 50 to 60 dollars is what they're selling for consistently on eBay. Not a whole lot less than that. So one of the more expensive Toys R Us promos. This Pikachu is also a very popular one over the past couple of years. You can see here 39.46 at its height back in June of 2021. And it has done nothing but fall since then. Real consistent and real heavy drops down to 24.46, which it hit uh, 
a couple weeks ago and it's been staying at that point. There's listings even lower than that. So this is going to continue to tumble, continue to fall. Geodude is another one of those that we looked at like Slowpoke and like uh, the Ponyta where there's not a whole lot of data on TCG Player. Right now it's current market price is $19.95, which is about accurate. TCG Player has this one very correct. You can find them on eBay for $20 to $25. You can see it did spike up at one point in time, but it was just basically one sale. Maybe somebody saw it and wanted it and then bought it and then boom, the price dropped way back down. So I didn't even want to, I didn't even think it was worth noting that that high price point in there because it was such an outlier. Next, we're going to look at that Electabuzz that I talked about earlier. This one right here. Uh, this Electabuzz was also a, a card that did jump up in price a little bit up to $15 and 51 cents is where it was in October of 2021. And you can see a very, very hard drop again, almost 50% that we're looking at. It fell down to $8 and 32 cents at the end of March. Now it's gained a little bit back, but not a whole lot. It's gained about a dollar of that back where it's sitting at nine dollars and 31 cents right now still a lot of these toys r us promos like i said they were free so eight nine dollars and 31 cents uh is still obviously a lot higher than free uh but you can see from where it was quite the drop if we look at the trico from celestial storm this was a toys r us promo as well same same story as what we're looking at with the electabuzz it was at nine dollars and 57 cents back in August of 2021, and it's just consistently dropped. Plenty of sales on this one, just like there was plenty of sales on the Electabuzz, but it's continuously went down. Now it's sitting at a one-year low. I feel like it's still going to keep falling down. It's at $6.33 right now. Like I said, that's a one-year low for that Trico. If we look at the Alolan Vulpix, this I think was the Guardians Rising artwork. So this came out right around the time that Guardians Rising came out. At one point, it hit $11.54. Alolan Vulpix was a popular Pokemon, is a popular Pokemon, so it was very popular all also during that hype kind of rising that price up a lot especially because people were big into sealed products so when they got a sealed promo they could send it off maybe in a bulk submission to PSA hoping that they would get uh, a good return back frequently or quickly uh, unfortunately that probably didn't work for them uh, $11.54 is its one year high point which it hit in June of 2021 done nothing but crash since then you can see right now again almost another 50% drop down to $6.26 sitting at its one year low right now of $6.26 and continuing that downward trajectory. If we look at that Piplup card that I was talking about before, I love this promo. I think it's super cute. Uh, very, very... Uh available at that flea market like like i said uh 902 was its high point 545 was its low point so it's low point which it started hitting kind of in november of 2022 a uh, little bit higher than that 545 really just kind of staying consistently now right around five and a half dollars it's high point of nine dollars and two cents it hit in july of last year july of 2021 and then kind of tanked and now it's been consistently just falling a little bit little bit little by little uh ever since then if we look at the magic Carp, the toys r us magic Carp promo nine dollars and 95 cents is its high point $4.82 is its low point, which it hit the beginning of January. This is another one like what we saw with that Electabuzz, with that Charmander that is consistently going down. Plenty of sales, but still downward trajectory just keeps going down and down. $9.95 was hit in June of 2021. It's done nothing but go down since then. It's leveled, leveled off a little bit over the past few months, sitting at $5.14 right now. The Clefairy is a little bit interesting because it's a little different. It didn't hit its high point of $6.65 until November of 2021. Uh, its low point of $4.30. 34 cents, which is where it is at now. Uh, it's been consistently going down since that high point. So it hit its high point of 665 in November of 2021, a later spike than what we've seen with the last ones, and really just kind of crashed after that. Still plenty of sales in here, but you can see just heading in that downward motion there. We've only got four left because there was only 16 of them that I could really pull sales data off of. I believe there's a 17th one uh, from a Lost Thunder promo, but I didn't see any sales data on it. Uh, we've got the Meowth here for $6.02 was its high point, which it hit in July of 2021 then crashed pretty hard down to $4.22, which is where it's sitting right now at a one-year low. Keeps going in that downward direction. Cosmog is very, very interesting. Not a whole lot of uh, high sales on this one. You can see it's high point, $2.52. I've got one right here in my hands that I want to talk to you about. Uh, $2.02 is its low point, which it hit back in uh, October of 2021. And that's gone up a little bit, but it's only gone up about 18 cents, so not a whole lot there, but not a whole lot of margin there. It's only looking at about 50 cents between its one-year high and one-year low. Granted, that's still about 20%. Um, but if we look at this one right here, I, I think you can kind of see it there. The price point on it is $1.50. Uh, this was actually a card that we took to Madison Regionals, which was, what, three years ago now when we vended in Madison Regionals. We do have some cards that were kind of just sitting in a box that still had price tags on them. So we priced this at $1.50 to sell at that show. We still have it in inventory in our stock. Uh, and right now, you're looking at three years later, just that sign of, oh, even going through the hype, everything is 
going up, this card really hasn't appreciated that much in value, even if it's in sealed condition. Uh, you're looking at $2.20 right now, so it's up $0.70 cents from where we were selling at three years ago. Then we've got the Jang Mao promo. $3.27 is its one-year high, which it hit in July of 2021. Uh, it, it's it crashed pretty hard down to that $1.73 price point, which it hit in February of 2022. Went up a little bit, where it's sitting at $1.99. Very cheap. Then we've got the Stuffle promo right here. $6.85. This one hit really hard, crashed really hard. It hit $6.85 in August of 2021. And you can see it kind of tried to stay at that level for a month or two, and then it really just fell. It just crashed and burned after that. Went all the way down to $1.73 at the beginning of April. It's gained about $0.10 cents back, up to $1.83, but still hovering very close to that one year low and if you're looking from six dollars and 85 cents all the way down to 173 that's a huge huge drop so if you're somebody who does like looking at promos does like collecting promos maybe you don't have a whole lot of these now might not be a terrible time to grab some of these because they are very very cheap some of them have fallen really hardcore in price and a lot of people still have them in their sealed packaging so having finding one in near mint condition is fairly easy these were uh, mass produced there were a lot of these available and now without toys r us's uh in the united states a lot i mean they're not going to be easy to go grab anymore so um Adding to your promo collection, not a bad buy because they are getting to that price point now where they, they look a lot more attractive, right? Uh, so thank you very much. Wanted to share that data with you guys. We've got a really fun weekend ahead of us. We've got the Astro Radiance Booster Box opening tomorrow along with the Evolving Skies giveaway. Uh, there's going to be two giveaways tomorrow. It's going to be super epic. And then on Sunday, we've got the Astro Radiance Elite Trainer Box opening. That's going to be a lot of fun too. And then next week, we've got Secaucus Regional. So I'm going to record some content, do some vlog style stuff. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, please leave a comment down below please leave a like it goes a long way for the algorithm helps grow the channel spread the word hit that subscribe button if you haven't already you guys mean everything to me i really appreciate you until next time i'll see you soon thanks guys peace